now let's solve the challenging case 66 and 67 both are about uh, myopia myopia or nearsightedness is on the rise due to change in habits as we have left the outdoor activities and we spend most of our time indoors mobile use uh, books uh, reading near work increased near work um, has increased the incidence of myopia now myopia can be low moderate or high according to the refractive error high myopia is the refractive error of uh, minus six diopter sphere or more or an axial length of 26.5 millimeter or more when we get fundal changes in high myopes it is then called pathological myopia or more recently when the center of pathology is macula it is called myopic maculopathy today i am showing you a case of uh, two cases of myopic uh, maculopathy now this one uh, with large peripapillary crescent myopic crescent uh, diffuse chorioretinal atrophy in the first case there was tigroid fundus uh, lacquer cracks cracks uh, here uh, you can find myopic uh, uh, macular uh, atrophy myopic uh, choroidal neovascularization posterior staphyloma fuchs spots now main pathophysiology is continuous elongation of the axial length with stretching and thinning of the retina choroid and sclera in such patients uh, Peripheral retinal examination is also of paramount importance to detect the latest degeneration, other peripheral retinal degenerations, holes or tears. But as here the center of pathology is myopia, so these patients usually present with central brilling of vision, central scotomas, metamorphopsias. Large hypopigmented myopic crescent can cause enlarged blind spot as well. Lacquer cracks are breaks in the Brooks membrane and they can act as a focus for future development of choroidal neovascularization. Fuchs spot is an area of RPE hyperplasia to regressed CNV. Posterior staphyloma is the outpouching in the macular area and can be detected more easily with B scan or OCT. But even on the fundus examination, if you are uh, uh, focusing uh, an area near disc, and then uh, when you go further temporal, uh, and there uh, the area becomes blur, and then you have to focus it. Uh, it also gives you an idea that uh, you are in the area of posterior staphyloma. So you can see these uh, hyper and hypopigmented uh, spots on the fundus uh, in the area of fovea. So it's a case of myopic uh, maculopathy. If vision is stable, you just observe. Uh, but if uh, uh, myopic uh, CNV develop, uh, then the ideal uh, treatment of choice is uh, anti-VEGF uh, injections. Uh, you can also see a tilted uh, disc and a very large prominent uh, temporal crescent or myopic crescent and you can see that the pigmentation and depigmented spots on the fovea foveal atrophy macular atrophy these are all due to continuous stretching and thinning of the all the three layers retina choroid and sclera so that was uh, an interesting case of uh, myopic maculopathy thank you very much